<laughs> 43 is the forecast high for today with some drizzle mainly after uh, 3 p.m. today. But it's it's the right weather for this time of year, yeah, early let's, December. Let's get things started with uh, a run of bad luck for me. Okay, <laughs> let's cheer everyone up. So, did you hear my heat went out over the weekend? Uh, yeah. <laughs> that stinks. Mm -hmm. uh, got fixed yesterday. How about ah, that? Nice. That was good, right? Mm -hmm. Guess what else happened? What? <laughs> so I'm doing the dishes last night. We start the dishwasher. Uh -huh. Did I go out? <laughs> no, it didn't go <laughs> out. But all of a sudden, water comes pouring out of the sink area. Oh. So I believe that a pipe froze in the dishwasher oh. area. Yeah. So I had to open the dishwasher. We had to clean up the puddle. And now I need a plumber. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I'm sick. <laughs> well, it's good you're using local um, tradespeople. Oh, I always companies. use local tradespeople. Yeah. And uh, in and out so quick, so it's great. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting that plumbing taken care of as well today. Mm -hmm. well, I hope your run of bad luck ends, and I hope mine does too. I hope so too, yeah. It's just one of those, mm -hmm. one of those uh, cold, wintry weeks where uh, mm -hmm. people are dealing with stuff. But a lot to be uh, thankful for here. I had a flat tire and a rental car. <laughs> There's that, I mean, that could have been an absolute disaster. Uh -huh. um, speaking of rental cars, did you see Hertz has settled their class action lawsuit with uh, their customers? Uh, here's a recommendation, don't ever use Hertz. So yeah, they had, uh, they will pay out, hundred I think $168 million mm -hmm. to some of their customers. Finally. They, they had a, they, there was a history of shortage of rental cars and they, they had, it, it had even led them to um, report some of those cars as stolen mm -hmm. and uh, you know, innocent people were arrested for Grand Theft Auto. It's One amazing. guy spent more than a month in jail. It's, it's unbelievable. Just a regular businessman so, driving a Hertz rental car. Yeah. It's crazy. So I am happy that you happen to be in the one town that has a physical enterprise location. Mm, I got lucky. You got very lucky. Yeah. So. Last night, it was the semifinal uh, performance show for NBC's The Voice and Grass Lake's own Braden Lape, uh, I think did very well. Here he is in the uh, duet with, uh, what's that guy's name? Braden, Bowden, Bodie, Bodie? I Bodie. don't know. You're asking Brandon and I, and you're just going to get silence. Everyone's from us. watching The Voice because we have. A Brandon and Braden. I are keeping track of the sports and some light news for the rest of the building. You're keeping track of the late. So, voting ended at 7 o'clock this morning. So, hopefully, Braden got enough votes to make it into next week's finale with five, five Voice contestants. So, it's eight last night. Three will be chopped tonight, and hopefully Brayton will move on to the finale. But at this point, he's a star. I think he is a star. I can't remember the voice ever having kind of as big of a star nationally. Honestly, he mm -hmm. is kind of nationally a star. So um, I think he's going to win. I do too. And I and don't be think, great. I think he's going to win, and then I think he'll finish his schooling in Los Angeles <laughs> or Nashville. Yeah or Atlanta, well, somewhere, it, somewhere nice like that. You know, it's probably, you know, it'd be very difficult to go back. Um, you know, it's, would, would Justin Bieber go back to school? I don't think so. <laughs> no, I don't think so. But I think you might, a little difference there, a little difference there, as uh, Bieber was a childhood star. Mm -hmm. T but, uh, TikTok. Uh, I don't remember, I don't know. I don't know, but he's, he's very rich at this point. Um, you know, there's a bunch of illnesses going around. It's hitting the schools, but I don't think it's the flu. It's just colds. Hmm. So I'm looking forward to having Dr. Matthew Badke on to find out what's going on. But I haven't talked to anyone with a flu, but it seems like everyone's getting hit with all these little colds. Uh, last year, no flu. No flu. This year, a lot of it. Yeah, but I don't think there's... Have you talked to anyone with the flu? You. I, no, mean, I don't have the flu. You've been saying you've been sick. Uh, I don't have the flu. I have a, a mild head cold, which would fall in line with me sleeping in the cold because uh, my furnace was out. So everything seems, seems fine. CDC says so far 8.7 million people have become ill with the flu. Really? Yeah. That's huh. a lot. Anyone in Michigan? Yeah. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't think 78,000 so. people have been hospitalized with the flu, so it can be a dangerous illness. It definitely can yeah. be, for sure. Remember, that's what, you know, we didn't realize how many people had passed away from the flu mm -hmm. until COVID happened, and then we started to go back and look at the flu numbers, and we're like, oh, flu is serious. So far in the United States, 4,500 people have died. It's amazing. From the flu. Absolutely uh, amazing. I, um, while you were away, I had a chance to uh, do something cool. You know, if you play golf at Ella Sharp Park, um, if you tend to slice the ball quite a bit, your mm -hmm. drive goes into that wooded area on the right the, side. The park side? Uh, yeah. yeah, well, close, close on the way to park side. But I was, uh, I had a chance to talk to Jason with Total Landscape as they were doing some forestry work out at Ella Sharp Golf Course. Let's take a look. We're out at Ella Sharp Golf Course. I'm with Jason Kellogg from Total Landscaping. And anyone who's played golf at Ella Sharp in between uh, hole seven and four knows that you lose a lot of golf balls. There's just a lot of overgrown trees in the area, a lot of overgrown brush. And Total Landscape is here today to, uh, to clean that up quite a bit. It's amazing just coming out here a few hours into the job, how much this has opened up. Talk a little bit about kind of the start of the project and what you guys are doing here, Jason. Um, we are just trying to, as you said, open this up so that, uh, one, you don't lose as many golf balls, but yeah. two, it, it opens up the site, um, gives you more of a more of a view as you go around the golf course and um, just kind of helps with the maintenance of the property as well. Yeah, the equipment you're using seems to be getting the uh, job done. Uh, you guys have a couple, a couple people out here today on some heavy equipment. Talk about uh, the machines you have and uh, kind of what they do when you have a forestry project like this. Um, well, as you can see, that uh, you can pretty much go in uh, almost anything, eight inches and less, and it just wipes it out and just leaves a pile of mulch when we're done. So pretty quick, pretty efficient. Um, we did bring the mini excavator in to help get rid of the rocks and some of the bigger debris that was in here so we didn't hit it with uh, the forestry head machine. Yeah, how's that work? Obviously, you can only see maybe the tops of some of these large boulders. I assume that it's uh, you know a pretty careful job that you guys have to kind of go in and, and weed through. And it is, and as I go through, I see them and we point back and forth and you know we pick them out and you still bump into them here and there, but as we yeah. do that, they're allowed to, that it gives us a shot to at least know where they're at. Yeah, so you guys do a lot of commercial, a lot of, a lot of residential as well. Uh, it's amazing just seeing how much this has opened up. Uh, I know a lot of the uh, golfers are going to be uh, be happy for sure. Talk about uh, a little bit about kind of when you have overgrown uh, stuff on your property and 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 what what go what all goes in goes into getting rid of that. Is it, is it just a simple call to you guys? Um, pretty much. I mean, a simple call to us. We can get in from many of our different machines and. Um, tools that we have access to to get rid of it from as simple as grinding it and leaving it like this um, to a future point or coming in and turning it back to a full on if somebody just wanted wow. to get rid of the wooded area. Yeah, so if someone has, uh, maybe they bought a property in the back three acres or woods and they want to turn that into uh, something beautiful opened up or a lawn, that's that's what you guys do. Absolutely, I, every week. I all summer long yeah what's that like for you going into the job going you know leaving a job after uh after you know all the work you went that went into it uh making it look good what's it like for when you guys leave a job site i mean i think that's the satisfaction of us landscapers is seeing the after product um when you're done you know putting yeah. in the hard work and the effort and just you know, being able to turn around before you leave and look and go, hey, you know, I did that and it looks good. Yeah, and what's interesting about uh, this particular job, which, you know, in my opinion is, is a very large job, but it's something that you guys are probably going to get done in a day. Yes, absolutely. We'll actually be done here in just a couple hours. That's, a, that's amazing. So Total Landscape has all the uh, heavy equipment for your forestry needs. Definitely do not try this at home. Uh, hire the experts like Jason. Jason, thanks for having us out today. Thank you. Thanks for uh, coming and interviewing. Pretty cool total landscaping out there, and they did that job in a day. Did you find any golf balls? They found quite a few golf <laughs> balls, and I didn't, I didn't take any, but there were thousands. <laughs> Today, uh, election day in Georgia, finally that's going to, that's gonna, hopefully they'll be over. <laughs> Maybe they'll have another runoff. <laughs> and in Hanover, they're having their ninth annual Christmas tree lighting ceremony. Cool. The Hanover Fire Department doing that. Awesome. So everybody's welcome to that. And that is at 6 p.m., and there'll be um, goodies and uh, all kinds of uh, fun. So, and uh, Nightlights continues tonight. So, Great. Uh, more Christmassy things yeah. to do. Our show today is brought to you by Midwest Vehicle Group. Thanks to owner Joy Bedall 
and Midwest Vehicle Group for helping us bring you today's show, and Heather Herndon from Howard Hanna Real Estate Services. Each week, Heather reminds us why her and her team love living here, love living in Jackson, and nothing to me says Christmas like a gold gift box from Waltz. Oh yeah, I got one yesterday. Did you? Nice. Yes. Very nice. Um, so yeah, Waltz, it's a great, uh, we like to uh, get a lot of gifts at Waltz and mm -hmm. they will even, if you wanna sneak something in one of those gold boxes, they will sneak that in for you. Thanks to Heather Herndon and the Howard Hanna team for helping us mm -hmm. bring you Love Living Here. Yes, uh, we got the gift box. Nice. Uh, you know, a show of sympathy from uh, Very nice. a, a, a friend. And as you know, as you know, uh, my mom died last week. Yes. And so we've been very appreciative of all the uh, kind words and support that um, my family's received. Yes, so much. of course. Yeah, thank yeah. you uh, very much. And of course, I was the recipient of a lot of those uh, well wishes as uh, you and mom were out of town. So. Thanks to all. It kind of reminds me, this is just a really, really good place to live. It really is. It really yeah. is. You know where I, I, and you probably would never move to uh, Nags Head. No. No. Well, I mean, it's a nice place to visit. <laughs> it is a nice place to visit. It is a really yeah. nice place to visit, but I do like it. I like it here for and sure. Tomorrow, um, the Lights of Love. Lights and, of Love. Uh, Henry Ford and my mom, uh, a, a community member in Jackson has sponsored a light for my mom. Oh, that's awesome. Yep. Yes. Wonderful. So, so you'll be at that. Yes. Of course. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things going on uh, at night over the holidays. There's so many different things going on parties, mm -hmm. gatherings, lights of love. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of opportunities, too, to volunteer. You know what? Every year around Christmas, we always talk about doing something nice for someone. Well, we, you got to do it now because. Christmas is almost here. So yeah. if you're thinking about doing something nice for somebody, start planning it today and execute. Good idea. Yeah. I know one of the um, traditions of Christmas is eggnog. Now, are you an eggnog fan? I'm allergic. <laughs> allergic. <laughs> what are you allergic me? to? Egg. Egg. Well, Hellman's has come out with an eggnog recipe. Oh. Without eggs, but then of course uh, there's egg in I can't even almonds. see this without having to run to the bathroom, Brandon. <laughs> yes. You want to fill in for me? Frozen mayo nog uh, oh. swaps out the egg for mayo, mixing dark rum, apple brandy, whole milk, heavy cream, simple syrup, vanilla, nutmeg, and cinnamon with a quarter cup of Hellman's mayonnaise. Uh, toss it all in a blender and uh, enjoy boozy mayo heaven. And they've also got a, uh, hmm, a sauce nice. for your waffles. You know, I was at a, I was at a restaurant one time, and uh, one of the uh, girls we were with ordered extra mayo. You ever seen that? You mean Noah? <laughs> no, it wasn't Noah. It wasn't. It was not Noah. I will say it was at Jimmy John's one time with Noah and Austin Bell, and Noah got extra mayo, and Austin Bell took all the Food off. He took of all it. the bread off. Took all the bread off of his lettuce. He removed the interior of his sandwich and ate it with his bare hands. And I don't think he knew what he was doing, to be honest with you. I think, <laughs> I think just something happened and he ate it like I that. saw it. Uh, your friend Tom Brady set a record last night. Can you believe this? Probably for most Monday night football game appearances. Most fourth quarter comebacks. Oh, Tom. 44. They were down 16-3 to three with about three minutes left. Came back and won the box. I can't stay up that late for no, these games. So, But it was uh, it's awesome. I love Tom. Let's, uh, oh, great news out of Spring Arbor. For the third time in program history, the Spring Arbor University women's soccer team is the national champion. And they defeated Marion 1-0 in the NAIA Women's Soccer National Championship last night in Orange Beach, Alabama. Congratulations. It's Coach Jason Chris' third mm -hmm. national mm -hmm. title. Uh, I think that's the school's fourth national title in the last six or seven years. Is that right? Well, as they, far as, you know, you yeah. have basketball, three soccers. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. They have had an incredible um, run the last uh, seven, eight years. And it was a one nothing. Yeah, one score. nothing. Amazing. Yeah. So there was a goal in the tenth minute of the game, and then uh, the defense uh, hung on tight for Spring Arbor to get that win. So very cool, awesome. Um, a lot of a lot of players never even get an opportunity to compete in a postseason, 
let alone winning a national championship. So congratulations. Let's get to the rest of our scoreboard presented by Extreme Dodge. Thanks to our good friends at Extreme for helping us bring you the scoreboard each day on TV and online. Boys basketball, Columbia Central, they get a road win at Concord, 63-59. Onstead and uh, Big Baby Davis. Can I call him Big Baby Davis? Yeah. Is that bad? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't. I should check oh. with his family. Okay. Austin Davis is a little brother. Led Michigan. Led Onstead, 71. Uh, Michigan Center, 62. Calhoun Christian, 48. Jackson Christian, 46. Ooh. In a classic. Uh, boys bowling. We've got bowling scores already. Bowling. Clinton 28, Columbia Central 2. And then on the girls' side, they uh, also defeated Columbia Central 23-7. to seven. Here's what's coming up tonight. Basketball season. Yes, basketball starts earlier because we wanted 22 games. So mm. you're going to have a lot more games before the break. Tonight, Grass Lake's home. Jackson on the road. Northwest on the road. Vandercook at home, and then Western will head to Chelsea for what should be a nice game. So if you want to catch a good game, I would head to Chelsea and check that one out. Girls basketball, Concord at Napoleon should be a good one. Grass Lake at Western should also be a good one. And then Jackson and Northwest are home. And then wrestling, Concord and Hanover Horton at the uh, M60-69 uh, interchange there at Tecancha. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's a classic interchange. It is. Mm -hmm. It's the interchange of giant signs that reach to the sky. <laughs> you ever get off at the wrong exit there? You're screwed. You sure are. You are. So that's it. That's our scoreboard and on deck. Thanks to Extreme Dodge. Did you know that you can qualify for free or reduced cost health coverage or insurance? The Center for Family Health can assist you applying for several different programs, even if you're not a patient. Navigating the different options can be challenging and confusing. The Center for Family Health is here to help. Please call 517-748-5500 to speak to one of their trained enrollment staff today at the Center for Family Health. Who's on the show today? Dr. Matthew Badkey from Jackson College will join us right after this quick break. <laughs> 